Hello, thank you for joining me. That's Ben Nevis over there, the highest mountain in Great Britain. And in this video, I'm not climbing it, I'm going to show you something just below Ben Nevis. Um, down here, we have the mouth of the River Lockie, or really where the River Lockie joins Loch Eel, which is a sea lock, although we're about 40 miles away from the sea, but we're only about one and a half miles away from Fort William. So I've just walked up from Fort William and um, we're going to go and explore the ruins of the old Inverlochy Castle, which are just over there. And this um, castellated bridge we see here, this is what carries the Fort William to Malag railway. So steam trains pass over this most days when they're working to Jacobite. And um, wherever the camera's going to pick it out, but just below that hill over there, you can see the carriages, that's where they're stabled for the night. So Looking out that way, that's the River Lockie, um, looking out towards um, the lock, and then the town of Fort Williams that way. And as I said, that, that's Ben Nevis, the highest mountain in Great Britain. I've never been up there. I expect I will one day. I have walked up Snowdon. Never been up Snowdon on the train, but I have walked up it. So no doubt one day, but not on this visit, I will climb Ben Nevis. And no doubt the view from up there must be spectacular because you will literally be on top of Scotland oh and I can just see see the smoke that is one of the steam locos off the Jacobite steam train probably 45407 because that one was out today um, I don't think we're going to be lucky enough for it to come over the bridge but you might just be able to see it now emerging from behind the carriages so that was a nice surprise I wasn't expecting that I'm going to stand here to let this cyclist get past me um, and we're going to carry on to the old um, ruins of Inverlochy Castle. Interestingly, there's also, if the camera can see it, I can just see someone in a canoe coming along. That must be quite fun to um, canoe down the river. So what we're looking up there, that is the Great Glen. So it goes up towards Speen Bridge and beyond. Um, so this was a rather strategic location to build a castle in the 13th century. And we might just see that canoe. It should appear from the other bridge about now. There we go. Must be a nice way to spend the evening. Well, he's probably been doing it all day. He's probably been rowing his way down there from, well, who knows how far he's come. Um, but no doubt, I'm sure that's a really quite an exciting thing to do. Anyway, let's go and have a look at the castle. Um, I'll let you have one more view of the river. And as we turn, you might just be able to see the steam loco in the distance. So this video wasn't... Um, supposed to be about trains it was meant to be to show you the castle but bonus if we get the black five in we're going to go under the railway now under that little bridge there we're going to go and explore the ruins of old Inverlochy castle um, I don't know too much about it so I'm just going to really observe and show you what there is to see um, we'll try and I'll try and sort of build a picture of how it would look like so as we approach the castle here it's just behind the trees I imagine there was probably a harbour here off the river, so um, supplies could have been brought in by boat if they needed to be. I'm going to go through here, and behind the trees is what's left of the castle. So it's um, a squarish castle with four towers on each side, but this one here, this would have been effectively the keep, the main one where you know all the meals would have taken place and everything. It's um, you know the real, the headquarters of the castle so we're just coming up to it now they're doing some work on it so it's all fenced off you can see there's a bit of scaffolding on the top so maybe in a couple of years time we might be able to come back and um, go inside the tower but at this stage um, we can only see the tower from the outside but what we can do is we can go into the inner bailey of the castle so we'll do that now and we'll have a little wander around so here we are here is the interior of the castle. I'll show you this board here and um, because this shows what the tower cut away, how the tower would have looked. And then there's the tower today. It's the same thing with this tower. We, we can't go in this one. This one is also fenced off possibly because of falling masonry but we can go in the other two towers so we'll do that. And um, so it says this area of the site is currently closed awaiting conservation work. So yeah, we're not going in there, but what we'll do, we'll go and have a look in those two towers where we can go and we might get more of an idea 
of what the towels would have been like. And then that's the other entrance um, looking through towards Ben Nevis. So we'll go out that way before we finish the video. So I'm just tripping over some of the rocks. Right, here we go into one of the towers. So that's one of them. Let's see where this goes. Goes. I'm not going to go any further, but no doubt this would have been a staircase that would have gone around the edge of the tower once. Take you up to the next level. Take you back out again. And we'll go back out into the main bailey of the castle. We'll have a look at the other tower, and then we'll go out the front. I'm going to walk back to Fort William after that. So. Um, it's been just a quick look around the castle. This castle is free to visit and it is fairly easy to get to if you fancy a one and a half mile walk from Fort William. Although actually Banavi Station is probably nearer if you could, if you wanted to come here by train. But this evening I'll walk from Fort William. There's not that many trains on the line up to Malag. So um, walking, if, if there had been a train during about 20 minutes, I'd have probably run over to Banavi and got the train back into Fort William. But instead, I'm going to have a rather pleasant walk back. So we're now going to exit the castle through here, get one more view of Ben Nevis. There we go. Ben Nevis is quite nicely framed in the, the, in the archway. And then here we are here, is the other side of the castle. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment from outside in Velocchi Castle. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.